In the last video, we implemented the uh, battery service from Bluetooth Low Energy with Safe here. It was quite easy. We actually just had to activate the service and then use it because it's already included into Safe here. Now, this time, we want to uh, implement the environmental sensing service, which has the three characteristics temperature, humidity, and pressure. In this case, uh, this is not included, so we cannot just activate, we have to define it by our own. If you don't know about the characteristics and the service, how it's functioning and the GUT module and so on, take a look at the first video from this series, the theoretical part, or you can of course also buy my book on Amazon uh, about um, WSN and IoT. And there you find also a chapter about Bluetooth Low Energy and it's explained in details um, what's characteristic and how is the stack working and so on. For our example here, we're just making a copy from the battery uh, service. And the first thing what we are starting is we extend our advertisement data. So we are making here another service, including it, and includes the ESS service. This is an uh, environment sensing service. You can take a look at the UIDs here, so predefined. Yeah. Um, you find here the whole list from the predefined service from the SIG. And this is actually all for advertising the service. Make a build. Flash it to our device. And starting our Bluetooth Low Energy application. Uh, selecting the dongle. Making a scan. And here I find my Bluetooth device. And when, when I go here to uh, details, I see here is a battery service and environmental sensing service. I can of course also connect, but like we see here, there are no services really defined. It was just the advertisement package which we configured at the beginning. Now in the next step, we have to define our gut characteristics. And for this, there is a macro which is called get service define. Yeah. I copy this here and using it here, you're seeing the first parameter is the name from our service. Then we are uh, defining the primary service with a UID and then we're defining the, this, uh, this characteristic macro as uh, characteristics. So uh, we are having here three characteristics. We have the temperature, pressure and humidity. Here is the parameter that I set at the beginning uh, null. Um, we have here the predefined UID again from the temperature. I can take a look at it and um, set its a read characteristic and also we're giving the character the permission for reading it out. Yeah, when I build this now and flash it on our device, and I start a scanning, we have the environment sensing service, and when I connect to my device, we think that we're having now the environmental sensing service. And also, when I read here, I have three characteristics, temperature, pressure, and humidity. They are all allowed to read. But when I read it out, I get read operation failed because we didn't define what's happened when we read it out. So in the next step, we are needing a variable like for the battery, because I want to implement it at least for the 
uh, temperature. Uh, we have to store actually two decimal places. This is a predefined format for the temperature. So uh, this will be 24 degrees and the decimal 0.12. Yeah. In the next step, we need a function. I declare it first. Uh, so my read temperature function. The head of this function uh, has a lot of parameters. You can find it out when you're going to the characteristic macro and you're seeing here the bt get attribute read function. You're seeing here the header. I can also go there and just copy it so that you're having the header from this function. Another way, if, if we are looking at the battery service example, there is also the C file, which is found in the subsystem Bluetooth service BAS. And here you're seeing the same, they defining a read uh, battery level and has the same head here, except that this is static. This is because it's defined in a separate file here. So, and um, when we're seeing how this function is implemented, yeah, I can do it similar. So when I define this function, I name it my read temperature function, of course. Oops. It's not static in our case. And this is we defined already global. And here we are using the temperature. And the size of temperature. Yeah, um, so this function is used to returning or what happens then that uh, read out the attribute. And this function we have to set as called back function in the characteristic here. Yeah, this is the first function for the read. You can also set a callback function what's happening when you're having a write there. When there's a write, probably you are setting the temperature. But with temperature, normally, of course, you don't adjust this. When I compile this now, and flash it to our device, And connect to our device. You see here we're having the environmental sensing service again, and this time we're having here also a value for the temperature. And I can read it out uh, when I have a sensor there and would always get the actual value which I store there. Can also cross check it if this is a value which we give before. Yeah, you have always to think that this is a little Indian, so it's an 96C, and you're seeing here 24 degree and the decimal uh, 0.12. Yeah. We implement here now only the uh, function for the temperature, the callback function. For the human heat characteristic and the pressure characteristic, it's working uh, similar. And when you're having sensors there, you can directly connect it with this. Yeah, uh, this was how to implement a predefined uh, service, which is not implemented yet or not included into Safia. <coughs> In the next video, we will then uh, implement our own custom service yeah when it's not a predefined service which happened actually a lot of times uh, we will make an example when we want to have a better solution for example for the temperatures and you have to define your own characteristics with more decimal places 
or when you're having just a device which is having much more characteristics, yeah, you're making your own solar charger with a lot of parameters and so on, then you're defining your service and uh, your characteristics with it. So, see you in the next video.